Dentists and dental assistants are in high demand, and the pandemic has only highlighted this shortage. Well, the University of Rochester's Eastman Institute for Oral Health is looking to solve this problem through a new program. Atia Collins spoke to leaders there and filed this story for us today. We are in need of dentists, and it's not just a problem nationally, but right here on a local scale. It's coming at a time when staying on top of your oral health could keep you safe from COVID-19, and that's why the U of R Eastman Institute for Oral Health is taking a step to change this problem. Oral hygiene has a lot to do with your, like, general health. It's just, it kind of amazes me how many people don't understand, like, if you don't keep your mouth clean, you can really get sick. <laughs> Penelope Perez is one of 15 students enrolled in the University of Rochester Eastman Institute for Oral Health's new dental assistant training program. The program will provide paid training and job opportunities for students heading into an industry that was already seeing a decrease in workers. In fact, according to the National Health Resources and Services Administration, we could be facing a shortage of 4,000 general dentists nationally in 2030. The workforce shortages only continued after the, the pandemic. A lot of people unable to continue to work. They have child care issues, um, children not in school. So um, really, you know, it really took a hit. So the Eastman Institute for Oral Health is one of the largest safety net providers in upstate New York, providing over 18,000 emergency visits just during the pandemic. This one year training program will help continue to serve that community with a mix of classroom and in-person training opportunities. They increase the workforce to be able to give those opportunities to people who weren't able to um, get into the healthcare industry. Um, and to be able to continue to help the community. Leaders say there was a huge interest in the program, over 300 applicants for just 15 slots, and they are looking to expand in the future. Reporting in Rochester, Atia Collins, News 8.